Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Lisa and welcome. So as you guys can see from the title of this video, today I will be doing both an unboxing and a review of the new Prada Re-Edition 2005 in Safiano leather. As you guys probably already know, if you're clicking into this video, I assume you guys have already seen this bag somewhere in nylon, whether it's on Instagram or on YouTube or just people walking around with it. Ever since they came out with the re-edition in nylon, this bag has been sold and worn all over the place. My first impression of the bag was not the most positive because not gonna lie and this might be controversial but my very first impression of the bag in nylon was I kind of thought that it was a little bit cheap looking the black one not so much but like in the beige one I feel like because you can see the nylon a little bit more I kind of thought it looked a little bit cheap but as time went on and I saw more and more influencers wear it and not just influencers just everybody but like mostly influencers taking pictures of it I really really grew to like the bag. In fact, I actually grew to like the bag so much I seriously considered buying the bag in nylon. I mean, I never thought I would buy anything in nylon, but it really made me almost do it. But the only reason why I stopped actually is because out of all the bags in nylon, the one that I would have gotten or the one that I think looked best would have been the black one because the black one seemed the most, I don't know, just like casual. And with that look, the black one, in my opinion, looked the best. How However, out of my very limited designer bag collection, I already had quite a few black bags and therefore I kind of thought that if I added another black bag to my very limited already collection, it almost seems like I didn't have much diversity and it would just kind of seem to overlap the occasions and when I would wear it and the outfits that I would wear. So because of that, I would have honestly bought the beige, but like I said, because the beige in the nylon, I didn't personally think it looked that that great which is why I just ended up never getting the bag because if I would have gotten it I would have gotten it in black but anyway recently they came out with the leather version and honestly after looking at all of the different colors I personally thought that out of all the leather products I liked the beige one the best which actually worked perfectly because that was the color and that was in the bag that I wanted to get so this was kind of the best of both worlds situation where I was able to get the leather in the beige and in the Prada re-edition 2005. I wanted to do a little unboxing and a review for you guys today. However, I cannot do a proper unboxing because in order for me to do the review, which I wanted to do because I wanted to share my opinions on the bag, I obviously needed to open it up and try it on. So today's unboxing is really gonna be a fun boxing a fake unboxing because I'm just gonna put on my best acting skills and pretty much show you my initial reaction when I opened the bag but this is by no means authentic but at least I like saw how it was wrapped and how it was put away so I definitely copied everything so I'm just gonna reenact and open it as though I'm seeing it for the first time this is also actually a little bit special for me because all the designer bags I've had so far, I bought one online and the rest I bought overseas. So I never got to keep the shopping bag or the box. And this is just a really exciting moment for me because I also get to keep the shopping bag and the box. To give you guys an idea of price range, this bag in leather is $2,300 Canadian. I will leave the price in American down here because I have no idea. I paid it in Canadian and thankfully I'm in Vancouver right now. So I paid 1% less tax than if I was back home in Toronto and bought it there. I mean, it's not that much, but every penny counts, okay? So anyway, without further ado, let me get started with the unboxing. So this is the Prada bag, not the re-edition, but the actual shopping bag. And it just looks really gorgeous. And I know you guys did not come for the shopping bag, but like I said, this is special for me. So I'm gonna show you guys anyway. So this is what the box looks like. And there's just like a tiny little bow. I tied this myself, 
but you know this is how it came when I first opened it so I mean I think I did a pretty good job okay so I'm just gonna unbox it for you and once again watch my acting skills wow this box alone I'm obviously gonna keep this ribbon and the box okay so when you first open the box Oh my god, there's tissue paper that says Prada. This is actually my first reaction though. That was probably the thought that came into my head. You unwrap it and... Oh my god! I'm actually still very excited every time I open it. So when I first opened it, there's two dust bags. There's one with the bag and then there's one for the chain and the belt. So I'm just gonna open that up for you. So let's start with the bag. Ooh, maybe I should do one of those like luxury bag asmrs i saw those around guys look okay so this is what the bag looks like with this bag one of the things i wanted to mention also is the other reason why this bag spoke to me so much is that the leather version all the hardware is gold rather than silver which is on the nylon and as you guys can see from my jewelry i am a gold type of gal so this really matched my jewelry really well but this is what the bag looks like this bag comes with the chain which is also detachable if you want there's also this little tag here here that just says Prada re-edition 2005 I'm just gonna show you like that there's that and I will open the bag in one second okay so this is the dust bag for the bells oh my god I love this bag so much so this is what the belt looks like this part is honestly similar to the nylon once again the only thing that's different I believe is the hardware which is in gold and then there's this little coin pouch so I'm just gonna open it actually there's this little thing. This is also my very first Prada purchase. So this is my first experience with Prada. So this is the bag, taking out the tissue paper. And there's just the authentication card in here. That's the little envelope that you get. I don't know, every single authentication card I've gotten so far have not been like an actual card. But this is like an actual, almost like a credit card, which I don't know, I don't think I have that for any other brand. So yeah, that's pretty much the bag. I guess this fun boxing was not really fun because I didn't fake that much. I mean, just a little bit. I don't know if this is how people do unboxings. This is my first unboxing. So if I'm doing it wrong, I am sorry, but you can leave a comment on how I can do it better next time if I ever get another bag. Okay, so now I kind of wanted to go into the review of the bag. Once again, I purchased this bag because number one, I wanted something a little bit more casual and I really, really liked the belt. I was looking for something like that, which the two bags that currently offer the belt option is Louis Vuitton with their multi pochette bag or the Prada. And at the time, once again, it was nylon. When I went in there to look at the nylon, they actually told me about the leather and then showed me the gold hardware. I tried it on. If you guys followed me on my vlogs, you would have seen me tried on already but basically this bag so far i would say that in terms of capacity i actually really do like it but if you guys have seen my other video i did a video review on the gucci marmont camera bag versus the flat bag and from that video spoiler alert i like the camera bag better but from the camera bag in small that i had i just wanted to give you guys like a comparison in terms of capacity the gucci marmont camera bag in small definitely fits a ton more so in terms of like just more heavy duty things or like if I'm out for a longer period of time I feel like the camera bag for the Gucci one in terms of that capacity almost suits me a little bit better because I was able to put in things like my wallet my sunglasses case all of my lip products my hand sanitizer etc right now I have just like a long wallet so right now the wallet that I'm using is this one by Louis Vuitton and as you guys can see it's the long one so this one fits in the Gucci one no problem this one also fits into the Prada re-edition bag no problem as well but definitely after putting this in everything else becomes a little bit limited like I will not be able to put my sunglasses case in there if I wanted to so it doesn't hold as much as the camera bag obviously well I'm saying obviously but like in case you know you guys didn't know 
it doesn't hold as much as the camera bag however it does still hold quite a bit compared to some of the other bags that i have so so far i am able to put in the essentials i think that the one thing that i personally might actually change is i don't even know why i use such a big wallet anymore because i mostly use apple pay and the only thing i really need to carry around is my license so i'll kind of show you guys what exactly i put into this prada re-edition bag in coronavirus style because you know we gotta put our essentials in there but I am able to fit everything like I said that I do fit into the Gucci camera bag minus the sunglasses case so in terms of size it is actually pretty great the second thing that I wanted to review slash talk about is the function slash the purpose of this bag so if you guys watch my very first luxury handbag review which I will leave a picture here you guys can check it out I actually gave tips on things you should consider when you're purchasing your first luxury handbag or at least the things I consider and one of the biggest things I talked about was function slash purpose so I did definitely wanted to talk about that today as well because obviously that is one of the most important things that I consider when buying this bag one of the reasons why the Prada re-edition bag really interested me in the first place is because of how casual you could make the bag look and the multi-functions with it so my current collection in my current bags I feel like I don't have a bag where I could like detach things and put things back on and make it look completely different the Gucci flat bag that I have you can wear it in three different ways but that's really the limit of how much you can wear it and obviously nothing is detachable and you can't remove anything or add anything on the thing about this bag that I feel like is so unique is that first of all the strap it makes it look a lot more casual I just feel like my current bag selection none of them look casual so like if I was wearing a hoodie or sweatpants or something none of the bags that I have really make sense all of them kind of just look a little bit extra so part of the reason why that I really liked this bag and the look of the re-edition in general nylon or not it has the strap that you can use you can also use that strap actually as a belt and a lot of people have been using that but with every part of this bag as you guys can see everything is detachable so the coin pouch is detachable this strap is detachable and even within here this is detachable so if you wanted to remove the gold chain and just wear the strap you can do that too so honestly for all my math people how many permutations is this in terms of combination if you remove only the gold strap and you keep everything else or if you remove just the coin purse and keep everything else you know what I mean just etc like there are just so many different ways you can wear this bag which is why I feel like for me the biggest thing was the casualness there is now like a luxury handbag that you could potentially wear with a little bit more casual outfits and then this elevates it just a little bit by being leather the second thing honestly the different methods of wearing this bag so if I were to wear the bag with just the gold chain it honestly looks super luxe and it gives like a really cute 90s vibe with the gold hardware I could wear this on like a fancier occasion so there's just a lot of different purposes and versatilities with this bag the one thing that I will mention in terms of the insides of this bag though is that there isn't a sorry this gold chain is so annoying one thing I'll mention is that the inside of this bag, there is no inner pocket. So unfortunately, if you do have stuff, you can't just have cards lying around. You might need a card holder or something like that. The coin pouch is actually super versatile. For me, I actually put my car keys in there. And if I don't put my car keys in there, then I'll put my little hand sanitizer in there. But that coin purse is honestly super versatile. You can even put your AirPods and it's in such a convenient location. It is just right across your chest and you're able to easily grab whatever it is that you need in terms of versatility and function I definitely think that this is a plus so in terms of the price point for this bag once again I already mentioned this and I will leave the American prices down below but the price point of this bag is $2,300 to me how I feel about the price obviously by no means is it a cheap bag but relative to the purposes of the bag the number of ways you can wear it and I'm just thinking about this because I'm thinking about it in comparison to my Gucci Marmont flat bag which is a mini size which I think actually fits around the same amount of stuff as this one I know I'm comparing different luxury brands here but just hear me out I just think in terms of practicality and stuff like that the one that I have in a flat bag is in velvet it is around the same price point I think it's just a little bit cheaper it doesn't give as much of the different ways that this bag gives and on top of that I just feel like you know this one's also in leather and it gives so many different types of looks 
that you could wear with this bag and also the versatility and also just the function of this bag there's a zipper if you guys watch my other video you know my little rant with the hole on the flap bag so i just think that relative to the gucci one that i have i feel like this one was almost cheaper in my eyes because of what it kind of gave me in terms of function so i've already worn the bag a couple of times and honestly i just love it so much i also love that i'm able to wear this bag very much in front of my body ever since I went to Europe and actually got pickpocketed, I feel like I am so paranoid and careful whenever I'm outside now and I'm always holding my stuff like this even when I'm back in Canada. This bag also allows you to have that look in the front, on the side, whatever it is. I just absolutely love it. So in terms of price point and also with whatever is going on with brands like Chanel who's increasing their prices by like 25% during a global pandemic, I just feel like this one is pretty decent and relative to the LV multi pouchette bag, I mean I don't have that bag personally but by the looks of it, I feel like it probably fits around the same amount of stuff in my head. If you guys have both, please let me know. From the looks of it, it seems like everything fits around the same and that bag is around the same price as this one as well. So I think honestly, the price is pretty comparable and it is pretty good for what it is. That's just kind of my opinion. And this is also largely due to my experience with the Gucci flat bag as well. So I really thought that this one was a little bit more worth it than that bag in terms of price point. So all in all, do I recommend this bag? Yes. I honestly think that, you know, the price point is fair. I think that the number of ways you can wear it is almost endless. So I definitely recommend it. I also feel like this one, you can dress high or low, whereas all the other bags, even though there are other ways to wear it, you can only have a mini range of outfits. Whereas this one, you can have such a large range of outfits that you could wear with this. Also, I just wanted to say that when I purchased this bag, this one was constantly selling out and I actually had a contact at Prada, which I'll leave his number down below if you are all also in Vancouver, he works at the Prada at Holt Renfrew. And with this bag, he kept on messaging me, people were wanting it, can you come by today, whatever. Cause I had eyed it for a little bit and I had put it on hold because I don't live downtown. I haven't been able to go whenever I wanted to. So I definitely rushed over that day to pick it up because I knew that it was running out so fast. And out of all the colors in the leather that was going by really fast, the beige from what I heard from the sales associates at Prada, probably the most popular color in the leather so if you guys are interested in getting this bag I definitely would recommend hurrying to Prada and you know putting your name down or something like that chances are unless if you're really lucky I am not very lucky but chances are you probably are not gonna get it the first time you go in even the first time I went in I would have had to wait about two weeks to get the bag so definitely recommend going in the black one looks really 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 nice as well if I were to get black I actually think I would probably get the nylon in terms of the beige a hundred percent get the leather another reason why I wanted the beige because I wanted to get a designer bag that would go really nicely with a lot of my lighter clothing because since all of my bags up until this point have been black every time if I wear a nice summery dress or something I kind of wanted something a little bit more beige and lighter so this one is super perfect and even though there's only a month or a few days of summer left. I just want to take advantage of this as much as I can and also wear it with my sweats. You guys are definitely going to see this a lot on my Instagram. And yeah, this is pretty much my opinion on the bag. But anyway, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you guys haven't already, make sure you subscribe to my channel and turn on the bell so you never miss a video. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.